She is simply too terrified to appear on camera and asks that we call her North, not her real name. The 22-year-old English major has come to this rudimentary camp tucked alongside the Turkish border because, she says, if she stays at home in Latakia, she will die. I come here, the circumstance is so difficult, I'm pregnant, I cannot bear such things, I have a nervous breakdown. She described what she witnessed just outside her house as nothing short of horrific. Every day when we have a protesters in the street, military and the army come to them and kill them in front of our eyes. Did you see that? Our house, we have a window and the window, the shooting the window is fire. If I'm sleeping under the window, I will lose myself and I will die. We all go down to the kitchen and we sneak to the kitchen on our stomach. You have to sneak into the kitchen yes. on your stomach. Yes. Last Friday, activists reported the government onslaught to be especially bloody. The Syrian government has consistently said that it is only targeting armed groups, something activists and eyewitnesses say is a lie. This video, reported to be taken last Friday and posted to YouTube, which CNN cannot independently verify, appears to show people seeking cover behind a wall as intense gunfire rings out amid plumes of smoke. Noor says on that day, a lawyer she knew was gunned down for no reason. He doesn't want to go to the protest. He is going to visit his sister and then they shoot them. Uh, people come to take him to the hospital and after 10 minutes uh, return him dead. And you saw this from yes, your yes, I see from this, the window. Is this like this car, Suzuki, and the blood come from this car? And that was when she fled with her family. She's so scared that as she's talking, her hands just keep shaking uncontrollably. You can hear her voice quivering as well. And it's just the trauma of what she's seen and what she was talking about is just so evident. As is her raw anger and frustration. God created a human being to live in this world in a liberal way. Why does one man, one man and his family will control all these people? Why does only one man want to control all these people? Why? And in her mind, there's one man who could make it stop. Why are our president killing us and killing our brothers and sisters and take them to the prisons? Why? I, I just want to ask him this question. Arwa Damon, CNN, near Khurbet Joz, Syria.